Welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Self Defense. We're here today with wall pin defense. So, when our opponent is pinning us against a wall, uh, we're going to use this move. So, the setup is fairly similar to uh, our two hand and single hand front choke defense against the wall. So, one leg will be up and we will be defending the punch. Either arms inside, arms outside is okay. Depending on how he grabs, if he's grabbing close, we may not be able to defend the punch arms in, and this is okay. I prefer arms inside, because if he does wind up for the punch, the hand is just already there. If the hands are outside and he winds up, sometimes it's a little harder to get. But uh, with this one, we can choose to go either way. So either leg can go up, um, doesn't matter. Okay. So as always, my starting point here. So when this person really drives in, it makes this move easier. Again, when we practice some of these self-defense moves, we kind of just stand here and hold the guy and it doesn't really illustrate how effective these moves really are. So uh, the more this guy drives in, the harder this guy drives in, the more effective this move will be. Okay, so when you practice these, it's a wall pin defense. So make sure we're really pinning our opponent. And uh, you know, when we're initially learning them, we can, we can just hold here, but especially as we get better and better and progress, we want to make sure all of these moves, not just this one, are more and more realistic. So, opponent's pinning. I'm here protecting the groin, protecting the punch. When I have decided that he's not going to punch me, I'm going to take my hands and I'm just going to grab the material on his sleeves if he has them. If not, I'm just going to grab the triceps. Okay, so it's a nice firm grip on the triceps here. The harder he pins me against the wall, the harder it's going to be for me to slide out. I need to slide out by taking a step, just like our single hand front trim. So when my shoulders are pinned, it's very difficult for me to move with this because he's got so much force driving me into the wall. So I want to get my shoulders, especially my shoulder blades off the wall. And to do that, all I've got to do is do a crunch, okay? Even if he's driving it hard, go ahead and drive it nice and hard. We've got a lot of power in our core. And even if you're not strong here, just the mechanics of this, we can get our shoulder blades off the wall fairly easily, okay? Sometimes, even when I get my shoulder blades off the wall, I still feel pinned because all the energy transfers through my hips and now my hips are slightly pinned against the wall. So one last thing we can do here is push off the wall with my foot to get my hips off the wall. So again, even if he's pinning in fairly hard, crunch one, if I still feel pinned, I just push my hips off the wall. And I only need to be off the wall a half inch, okay? I don't need to push him clear off the wall just so that I'm no longer pinned, okay? Once I'm off the wall, I'm going to take a step away. And it doesn't matter which way I step, but I just want to get out of the way that he's pushing, okay? I'm just gonna step out and take advantage of his forward momentum, okay? So, get off the wall, I take a step out, one, and then I take a step out, two, okay? One, two, step. So off the wall, step out, step. So you can see I'm facing perpendicular to the wall here. When I do that, I'm gonna give this guy a pull here, okay? One common mistake, probably the most common mistake with this move is we want to turn this guy like this. We want to try and turn him to the wall. When my arms are extended like that away from the body, they're weak. There's not good mechanics here, and it's very difficult to 
turn the guy into the wall. So what I want to do instead is just pull the guy to me. I'm just going to give him a tug towards me. So as I step out, I'm going to pull him to me. Okay? And the harder he's driving in, the more he'll go into the wall. Okay? If we practice this and he's just kind of lightly holding, when I step out and pull, he's not going to go in. But when he drives in nice and hard here, you can see how pulling him to me takes advantage of my mechanics. I'm strong in my core. My elbows are tight. Instead of having my arms away where I'm weak, I'm just giving him a tug using those back muscles where I'm strong. Okay? And even though I'm stepping out and tugging him this way, because he's driving in to the wall, he'll go into the wall. Okay? So just a couple times here. Shoulders away by crunching. If I need to, I can get my hips out. Step, step, pull. Okay. Couple at uh, about 50%. And we follow through with that. So, a couple things to be careful of here. When this guy's really driving forward, there's a lot of momentum there. And what can happen is as I tug and he comes in, he can hit the wall with the point of his shoulder. Okay? So, just be careful. We don't want to hit too hard on the point of the shoulder, injure our shoulders. Um, and the other thing uh, is when we follow through with the knee, we just want to take it easy with the knee. There's going to be a lot of momentum there, which is good for when we're really doing this move. But in practice, uh, when we bring that knee into the lower ribs, uh, sometimes the momentum can bring it in a lot harder than we intended and we can injure our opponent. So we're here, crunch off the wall, hips off, step out, step shoulder in and then the knee comes in okay so just be careful with that knee. okay so let's look at it from a different angle all right so from a different angle here just so you can see what's going on from this side uh, blocking with the leg tucking the knee in to protect protecting the punch okay when I decide he's not punching I cut the tricep if he's got material great if not we just grab the triceps Nice secure grip. So, again, the harder he drives in, the better it works. So, I crunch off the wall. If I need to, I push my hips off. I take a step, step. I want to get perpendicular to the wall, and I'm going to pull him to me. Okay? So, the more he's driving in, as I pull here, he comes in to the wall. Okay? And then knee comes in. Okay. So, a couple times here. Crunch, hips off the wall, step, step, pull to the knee, knee. A couple times, 50% uh, speed. So, protecting the punch, protecting the groin. Crunch, hips, All right, couple full speed-ish. So you can see the more he drives in, the more force puts him into that wall. The harder he's pinning, the better the move works. Walk on defense, thanks.